I'll take my leave. Good day. Who was she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the Dwarves to secure Illyrium for the Inquisition's Templars. According to Lady Corpin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. Oh. Access to Lyrium makes us rather more formidable than anticipated. We are becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power instead of comforting the masses. The Chantry should be a place of hope, not another group scrambling for answers. That must be its strength again. The Chants did much to bridge nations. Little but the Chantry ties Orlais, Navarra, Vereldin, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? Andraste's chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. I suppose a shared faith can be useful when talking with strangers. Precisely. And these similar interests are merely where we begin. We must learn to think beyond our own wants, to secure peace in Thedas. The Inquisition will have plenty of time for that, between finding the Divine's murderer and sealing the breach. Busy as we are, I do have a question for you, if you've a moment. The remaining Grand Clerics sent a missive inquiring about the events at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. They demand to know whether the Inquisition officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you, how would you reply? I'd tell the Chantry that Andraste herself shielded me from harm. I'd truly like to hear the debates that would raise in Val Royale. Thank you for your thoughts. A good day to you. Yes. Good. You're the Herald. Or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. I hope the Inquisition can restore all their things. I never really wanted to leave the Circle. My name is Maneve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker Pentagath and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the Tranquil and I will examine it. You've brought back some fascinating things. We're putting them to good use. You said you were a mage? No, just an apprentice. I was never very good at magic. I've got just enough talent to be a danger to other people. But when the mages rebelled, people like me had nowhere to go. The Templars would have killed us. Luckily, Seeker Pentagast took me in. Along with the Tranquil, I was protected. You said that you were keeping some of the Tranquils safe? Yes. The mages took some of them when my circle rebelled. The rest were forgotten. Most circle mages look down on the Tranquil, or try to pretend they don't exist. They don't have any emotions. They can barely take care of themselves, can't defend themselves at all. It's a shame. I like them better than most people. I'm glad they have someone who cares about them. They deserve better. They're polite. They're rational, and they'll never get angry at you. 
When they study, they have a focus no normal person could ever match. But the Templars, even some of the mages, mistreated them just because they could. The Tranquil never fought back. If not for that, I... I don't know. Doesn't really matter now. I'm surprised that even an apprentice mage wouldn't join the rebellion. I don't like using magic to fight. I'm not good at it either. I like studying. I like performing rituals that helped us unlock the secrets of the Vale. I liked having the Templars around to keep us safe. Something in your accent. You were raised by the Dalers, weren't you? Andoran Atishan. The lack of Valisleen caused most to miss it. I was a proud member of my clan until my magic manifested. You know what happens when they have too many mages. They gave me a pack and sent me into the woods to find my own life. I was seven years old. I'm so sorry. I stumbled into a village, starving and cold, a few weeks later. I started using magic to scare predators away. The villagers saw me make fire in my fist. They were terrified and wanted to kill me. Templars saved me from them. They gave me food and clothes and took me to the circle. I've seen what life is like without the Templars, and I want no part of it. I just want to study. You said Cassandra has you researching creatures. Yes. If you find anything interesting in your travels, I'd appreciate you bringing it to me. I may be able to find some weakness our soldiers can exploit when fighting various creatures. But at the least, some materials are useful for making potions or gear for the Inquisition. I'll speak with you later. Thank you again for what you've brought back. Blessing upon his parents and on to the maker. Mother Giselle will treat all demon claw wounds as you suggest to deal with the vet. You took in the Templars but made them yours. They won't make the same mistake. It's dangerous when too many men in the same armor think they're right. You should prepare. It's already getting louder. What's going to be loud? I don't know. But there are echoes rushing back across us, ripples in a pond from a stone, but backward. But first, you seal it. I hope it hurts less. I'll help if I can, but I don't always say it right. You helped me at the Seeker Fortress. Say it however you like. I helped. It's good to hear. I will try. I'd like to talk with you about Templars. They're heavy with forgotten songs, like Varric. Some of them are too loud. It's hard to stay near them. Cullen is softer, but demons asked questions that hurt him. Evangeline was kinder. I want to explain, but I... Reese's mother spoke to spirits, but not to him. Then she died for a Templar he loved. Words just bounce off the edges. What's your general opinion of Templars? Some like hurting mages. It makes them happy, or less afraid, or... Dreams again. Woke up shaking, stalking the ground for one who looks like her. Always some rule being broken. But not all Templars listen when whispers crawl around inside them. They try to protect people, like Cullen. The good ones remember that mages are people. Can you tell me more about how the Templars feel to you? They feel older than they look. They've been changed, and their bodies are incomplete now. The Lyrium helps, but their bodies always want to connect to something older. 
bigger than they are. That's why they block magic. They reach for that other thing, and magic has no room to come in. Varric feels like that. So do you, except your mark pulls you up. Can you tell me more about how the Red Templars are different? The Red Lyrium is different, darker, daggers under the skin. It eats you inside until you're nothing. They hear a different song. The song behind the door, old whisper won't open. They are dead and dark and done. I'll talk to you later. Probably. Even with Cullen here, I never thought that would happen. Of course, after Kirkwall, I never thought anyone would use Red Lyrium on purpose, either. The Templars should know better than anyone what that shit does to people. And finding more of it really punches a hole in my Red Lyrium at the Temple was a coincidence theory. How long does it take for Red Lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. I'd like to keep hoping it's a coincidence, if you don't mind. I need to be able to sleep at night. Honestly, I, I think I'll give up sleeping for the foreseeable future. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. But that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? We can't know what's coming. Best not to get too comfortable. I can't disagree with that. But maybe you should try to relax while you can. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, I'm sure the Seeker will let us know. Chasing mages? That's a Templar's job. A big armored, pissed off helm polisher. Not too late to go find them. Or stay home. Tell me about yourself. But what about me? How about the basics? Where are you from? I got that from the accent. Where in Thrill? Wherever? Okay, fine. Denimum for a bit. South, north, wherever I want. Oh, you're from wherever. I'm from north wherever. What? North wherever. Oh, we had fun on street and or in local tavern. Oh, hardy ha. Oh, funny you. It's complicated. I don't like complicated. But leave it at that. Maybe. Your skill. Who taught you how to use a bow? No one. That seems unlikely. What? I picked it up here and there. Mostly it just makes sense. It's not like that for you. Oh, certainly. Not a day's effort for the naturally gifted like us. Well, it's not like that. It takes work. A bit. Not like Cullen and his pets. I mean, you miss, then you don't. Is it that hard to see when it's wrong? Is it an elf thing? <laughs> Most I know couldn't find an arrow sitting on it. Right. Maybe I just make it look easy and shite company. Fact still is, no teacher. Where would I find one in alleyways, anyway? You're not like most of the elves I've met. Thanks, right? Or was that an insult? I suppose I could go barefoot and whine more. Like that solace, right? Never be as good as we were. Well, who's we? I'm just fine. I think there's more to it than that. A few thousand years more. Hey, 
Hey, someone wants to be angry about old debts, be angry. Be a terror that never lets an enemy forget. But if you're digging it up so you can wear it, that's just weird. I mean, the Dalish don't really know. They have stories, but that's all they are. It's all fancy dress, not history. We'll talk later. If you say so. Now that we've got better maps, I can show you a few tricks to get more out of Okay, then. I've heard rumors of abandoned warden camps all over these parts. If we have time, I'd like to take a look, see if there's anything we can salvage. Let's talk about the Grey Wardens. We must know a lot about them. Ah, the Wardens. I'm afraid we're less exciting than we seem. The flight's been over for ten years. What do Wardens do when the world's not ending? There are still Darkspawn. Just because we killed so many in Ferelden doesn't mean they're gone. And the world is not so peaceful that there's no use for good men with swords. Sometimes you have to figure out for yourself what the pledge to protect others really means. It's not always about just archdemons and blights. Where were you during the blight? I was in Ferelden. On my own, like always. Quietly killed my fair share of Darkspawn, too. You haven't had contact with other Wardens for a while. Why were you on your own? It's what I've always done. Recruitment only requires one man. Besides, I've always been a loner. Works best for everyone that way. So, you have no idea where the rest of the Wardens are? You find that odd? The Blight is over. We don't need an organized force. And orders don't change much from day to day. <laughs> For the last thousand years or so, it's been just find Darkspawn, kill them, repeat as necessary. Let's continue this at another time. As you wish. I'll be here if you need me. shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits. Locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. I just hope I can help. As do we all. It is enough that you would try. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. I must have this mark for a reason. It will work, I'm sure of it. Provided we can secure aid, but I'm confident we can. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new Divine while the breach remains. If the Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot, our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. given this a lot of thought. I know what happens when order is lost and action comes too late. <sighs> There's still a lot of work ahead. Commander, Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. Mm, as I was saying. Is there anything you need? May I ask you about the Chantry? I have no better answers on the topic than anyone might. 
But I'll tell you what I can. Will the Chantry replace Divine Justinia? They will try. Once the priests withdraw for the Grand Consensus, it is against Chantry law for them to emerge without naming a new Divine. Sometimes it takes days, or weeks, or even months. The problem now is that no clear successor to Justinia exists. All worthy clerics died with her at the contest. So what happens if they can't agree on something? Theoretically, they will argue until exhaustion takes them or they see reason. Practically, however, if the grand consensus goes on too long, the Chantry will crumble. Any cleric with ambition but little sense will see this as her one chance, and plenty of such clerics exist. We shall see what happens. The Inquisition must act in the meantime. If they do choose a new divine, will you serve her? That depends on whether she would have me. I am a rebel now, remember? And even if she would, I do not know. It would depend on what type of divine she is. I am no longer in a position to follow blindly, and no new divine could expect such obedience now. What influence does Chancellor Roderick really wield? He's a bureaucrat, responsible for communicating the divine's will to the rest of the Chantry. Therefore, he's accustomed to the clerics hanging on his every word, hoping his influence will benefit them. Despite that, Roderick is not a bad man. He's frightened, and believes his place is to fill the gap left by Most Holy's death. Some might agree. As far down the chain of command as he is, there is no one left above him. Thank you. Let's see what we have.
It is good that you salvaged as many Templars as you did, my dear. We will need every Templar, but they will require proper management. We also need to increase our Lyrium supplies considerably. The Chantry may still have stockpiles we can use. Cullen will look into it. He must already have a supply line. He undoubtedly did. But it was established before the Divine Conclave. The situation has changed. The breach has done more than disfigure the sky. The veil itself is broken. All mages, no matter how skilled, are now in danger of drawing demons to them. Before this crisis is over, you may find that Templars, flawed as they may be, are all that stand between us and Chaos. I'm glad that one of us has confidence in the Templars. It is not a matter of confidence. Reality does not change based on feelings. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. You're right, but Templars are a poor solution. They are men, and all men are flawed. That some fail does not mean that none should try. The fact remains that there is no cure for an abomination except death. Someone must strike the killing blow. Who shall lower the blade if not a Templar? Tell me something. As you will no doubt have a hand in shaping it, what future do you see for mages? Mages shouldn't be kept out of the Chantry. Who knows the dangers of magic better than a mage? A curious idea. Such twists and turns your mind takes. It's something to consider, my dear. 